Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You're looking at a custom Glock 19 made by Innovative Gunfighter Solutions. This gun does not belong to me. It belongs to Steve from Michigan Arms, and this thing is sweet. And, and I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, nah, you idiot. You don't like Glocks anyways. I saw that video that you made. You talked about how Glocks are no good. You know, that was just a fun video that I put together. Got a lot of people riled up. I think some of you guys are wearing your pants a little too tight. I like Glocks a lot. I own a couple right now, and I've owned several throughout the years. Have no complaints with Glock at all. However, let's take a look at some of the things that have been improved on this gun compared to a Glock. 19 right from the factory. The first thing you may notice is that the finger grooves have been removed and the grip has been stippled all around. Did a real nice job on the stippling. And another thing is that they added stippling right here where the weak side thumb can just kind of feel it and know exactly where to rest when shooting. The only company that I know that does that from the factory is CZ. And here's my PO7 duty. And you can see right there that the uh, they added some stippling for the weak side thumb. I think that's cool. They don't add that with the Glock right from the factory. The serrations in the front have been added, was still able to keep the Glock emblem there and enhanced cut in the rear. Nice, good feel to it. And by the way, this gun is unloaded. The rear of the slide was milled out to add this optic. Now this is a Trigicon RMR. It costs about $500. Very nice red dot, and the sights are suppressor height sights, I should say, suppressor height sights. And so that's very nice setup to co-witness with the red dot. And it really is nice, and this is so light that you, you can't feel any bit of that weight on there. The mag release was cut out here, and here you can see the difference between the factory Glock and the Innovative Gunfire Solutions, and I think it makes a difference. You know, you just kind of run your thumb here and very well put, very well cut out. So it's just very easy to grip with your thumb when releasing the magazine. The trigger is the coolest thing, though. I have to say, first of all, it looks great. It's a little bit lighter, right around four and a half pounds. It does have a trigger bar in there. But I have to say, it's very crisp. And the reset, it's like nothing right there. Very nice break. Now, we compare that to the factory Glock. There's nothing wrong with this trigger at all. Goes about five and a half pounds. And there's your reset. There's your full position. But the innovative gunfire solutions, that, that pound lighter and that nice crisp break just really feels, really feels good. When you when you fire the gun, you can just tell that that trigger is so nice. Overall, I think they did a great job. And it looks great. It, now, you're looking at about $1,000 worth of work, probably more. The, the optic alone goes for $500. So you're looking at an expensive gun here compared to right from the factory. You know, choice is yours. You put whatever you want into your guns, and hopefully you'll get out of them what you put into it. The holsters that I like the most are multi-holsters. That's what this is. Steve got this to fit his RMR. Custom fit his RMR and it fits in just like that. And that's one of the reasons why I like multi holsters so much. Not only do they offer a great fit and they carry so well on the body, but they can customize their holsters to your particular gun, whatever you added to it. It may take a little more time to get it because it is some custom work, but they they definitely do do that and they do a great job, no doubt. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.